What's up, guys? We're here uh, with Mantua Fishing Adventures. Uh, today, I'm touring us around, uh, getting us to all the good fishing spots. Yeah, we're going to catch some fish today, and uh, this is going to be a good video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Josh here. I have my buddy Colton with me. Clearly, as you can see, he's feeling quite confident because he is controlling the boat today. Um, the situation here in the Winnipeg River in Ontario, water's up like 10 feet. His big boat isn't in the water because they can't put it on a dock because we can't get the dock in. We look behind us here, very fast moving water. So we're in the little 14 foot tinner with the 20 and we are going to try to complete a catch and cook. We're gonna try to catch some walleye. We're gonna try to get the walleye in the boat. Then we're gonna try to take them home, cut them up, cook them and eat them. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Um, what we're using today. A few different things. Starting off, 3 8 ounce smeltinator with a 4 inch scented jerk shad shiner minnow. And uh, Colton, I have no idea what Colton's going to use. He likes to try the exotic things in life. So, um, well, I'll show you when he figures out what he's, that's going to be. But if you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and enjoy the video. You remind me. This is how you remind me. I can't believe how much it's like pulling us. Yeah, no way. Oh yeah, this looks really walleye. -y. Listen, bro. I'm doing my best over here. This this fucking current is crazy. Oh my god. Yeah. That <laughs> Sick. <laughs> nice. Oh. Fish. Oh, popped off. And you know when, when we first started fishing, you were so good at hook sets. You lost your touch over the years. All right. It seems like I, I thought it was a snag. That's why. What do you think it was a pike? No, it was definitely a walleye, and like not a small one. Cast it right onto that one. Oh, it's a bass. It ain't small either. Ooh, it is not small. Nice. Job, buddy. Thanks, Bod. Ooh, and she choked it. Like choked it, choked it. Ooh. Way in there. Yeah. Snake. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. I don't know. Walleye. Nice. Get the get in here. Get in here. Ah! I think that's slot size. That's slot size. Up, shallow, swim beat. We're eating good. Yeah, I'll give her a shot. Now we gotta do the whole live ball situation. Okay, so we took a little break from walleye fishing. Started fishing for bass, now we can catch a walleye. Don't jump off. I just cut myself, get a, get a good look at that. Good look at that, yeah, that's awesome. Ernie, you gotta get this boat freaking fixed. But uh, yeah, now we got some food for the dinner table later. Gonna throw it in our little uh, live well thing and then call her a day. There we go. Nice. Nice. But I'm not fully sure. Oh, it is. Oh, 
exact same one. Okay, it happens. Nice. Just release. The well, we're trying a few more spots for some walleye. We got one on the stringer. Beautiful day, not too windy. Uh, we're just using little swim baits and just casting these shorelines and hopefully gonna get another another few walleye for the bellies. We can cook them up after. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Hold over there, yeah, that's wild. That's a snag. Oh, and we're out. Fish. Nice. What are you thinking? Bass? I don't know. It came to the surface, so I'm thinking bass. Oh, dude, is that a largey? Put your rod down. Put your rod down. Oh, it's just a big smallmouth. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh nice. Wow. Man, that's a big <laughs> one. That's sick. All right, we got ourselves. A good old smallmouth bass. It inhaled that smeltinator and the swim bait. We're trying to go for some walleye, get some more fruit for tonight, but uh, that'll play. That's awesome. All right, thanks for the fight, bud. Woo! Right there, take it. Start recording. Start recording. Are you recording? Tell me yeah. You're good? Yeah. Okay, guys, we have eight massive walleye on the end of the freaking line. Make it a few more casts at Colton's cabin here. And this, this is, this is, oh my God. Oh. Oh my. Don't break off. Don't break off. Oh my God. That is a master angler walleye. Look, come here, come here. Show him the bait. Finesse dirty or whatever, Z man. Look at that, that is freaking walleye! Oh my god! Oh my god! That is insane! Okay, we gotta we gotta snap a couple pictures with that dude. Hold it, we, hold it up for a second. We though. gotta snap a couple pictures. Oh my gosh! Oh crazy! Absolutely. Okay guys, this is uh, this is one of those moments you don't really expect. I'm out here with Colton, we're on his dock, we're having a few drinks, making a few casts, and uh, I hooked into one of the biggest walleyes I've probably ever caught in my life out here. I'm gonna show you really quick. We're gonna take a quick measurement, take a few pictures, but uh, absolute horse of a walleye out here in Ontario. We got a measuring board right here, bumping, touch, that is a 28 and a half inch walleye. Absolutely beautiful. We got to take a few pictures and uh, this is this is a crazy, this was not expected at all. So we're gonna snap a few pictures quick and release this big old girl. We're gonna release her. 28 and a half inches, absolutely beautiful. Totally unexpected. And she's gonna go back to live another day. Right down to the deep after that, eh? That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. Woo! Catching more fish in the dock. Yeah, we got a bass now. Not bad, everything on that same bait. There we go. Good. Grab that. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. We're not gonna catch and cook this bad boy. Definitely still fun to catch. A little small mouth. Once again, on the Z-Man. Never using the ticklers. Got a little like hula stick kind of tail there, but just casting, popping off bottom and uh, having a great time. Okay, Colton got a walleye. Check it out. Nice walleye. Nothing wrong with that at all. Got a little bit of a mark there. Almost looks like she got hit by something. What? Yeah, no, that'll be a good eater. Yeah, absolutely. Z-Man, ticklers, 
little one eighth head. That's it. That's all. We got a walleye. We got more. Let's food go. For that's daddy. hey. That's the first fish of the video for me. Exactly. So, you know, <laughs> okay, let's go. On. Let's go. I'll He's give got the another one for the video. So that walleye, as soon as uh, Josh stopped recording, I held it over the edge of the dock, and of course I dropped it. So, <laughs> so we're gonna be eating bass now. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no, no little, uh, no little it. bass at all. Cool, man. Give nice. Release back. Nice. Nice little kick off there. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, let's keep going. So, we got three walleye for the dinner for our bellies. We're gonna fill up them right now. We got some ketchup cooks, some spicy stuff. We, we tried, last time, the first time we ever tried it was actually here. Yeah. So, we're gonna try it again. Um, fishing was decent tonight. We got a lot of bass. Got a few walleye, a little bit smaller than slot size, but three fish. We're gonna fill them right now. Stay tuned. Alright, successful day of fishing, we got a few walleye, we are going to be cooking it with ketchup cook in the spicy form, so all we're going to do is pour a bit on this plate here, nice and easy, and we're going to take our fish, we got some egg here, Let's pour it out of here, dip it in the egg, into the coating, get it nice and wet. And that's it. That's how we're gonna cook it. I'm gonna do a few of those first, and then uh, we're gonna throw it on the barbecue and enjoy some tasty fish. We got six fillets. You know, it was a pretty good day for, uh, I'd say, not hitting anything really in the morning and then coming back and smoking them all at the dock. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna flip these up. We've got the spicy catch and cook. See how it tastes. Probably delicious because it was last time. And, uh, yeah, it was a good day. What can I say? Master angler and uh, can't really complain about anything else. Yeah, overall, great day, guys. We went out in the boat, we didn't catch that many walleye, a few bass, which is great, it's got a big bass, but uh, we ended up fishing off the dock. I got a, a giant 28, I'm going to put a picture right here, right now, 28 and a half inch walleye out here in northwestern Ontario on the Winnipeg River. In my opinion, it beats any Lake Winnipeg Greenback any day of the week. Um, it was beautiful, and it's right up close to the shallow, probably spawning or just finished spawning, I don't know, but it was a great day, we're going to cook up these fish right now. We got some Smokies too, just in case the fish isn't the greatest, but also to fill our bellies because we haven't eaten since breakfast. And then uh, we'll let you know how it tastes. What do we got for dinner? Give them a little give them Smokies a little and fish. Give, them, give the fish a taste. This is freshly Delicious. caught walleye mm, in Ontario. Let's go with a decent sized piece Catch right and here. cook, oh. spicy flavor. It's hot. Give it a little bite. Come on. Come on. That is the best seasoning I've ever had. It's got <laughs> the right amount good. of kick. Ooh, it's got a kick. Like it's it's coming on now. It's so good. It's good. It's just so, so good. It's good, guys. Catch and cook, plain and simple. Good, good crisp. So we're gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna eat my smokies, eat my fish, enjoy it. Actually, I'm gonna have a little little piece on camera here. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed Colton and my our banter, our smallmouth, our walleye. It was a catch and cook video, but we cut a bunch of fish. It was great. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to the next episode of Let's Go Baby. Woo!